Okay, so it's like a week before the tour runs, something like that. December 7th. Yeah, it's very close, and it's this week is Thanksgiving, so it ain't but Thursday Thanksgiving. Yeah. We got to cook. It ain't long, we'll so be, we'll be cooking like hell come Wednesday. So we're gonna throw a battery in the 57, fire it up, put the street tires on it. You got a new battery for this? Yeah. Got the motor mount for it. Yeah, we got the motor mount because the motor mount was broke, and we got the fuel water separator which needs to come off and put the other one on. And I am going to convert the 74 back to naturally aspirated, pull my turbo stuff off and just leave it as is, put a different set of wheels and tires on it and run it on the toy run. Then after that, I'll finish the turbo system because it just ain't enough time. I could probably get it to where it runs good with the turbos, but then I have to take it up and down the road and shake it down and tune it and it just ain't enough time. So, all right, of course, like everything else, it is an extreme fight. Did it break loose? Cram something in it to weigh it. Give me a big screwdriver or something. All right. All right, so we got aggravated and said we're just going to slot the motor mount. And so we slotted the motor mount and it's going to work fine. See, so now, where's our test piece? Because that bottom bolt is broke and rusted in and won't come out. So we did this. That'll go down in there. Washing and stuff will go on it. It'll tighten up. It'll be fine. So. Now where's our said mount? Cause we's plumb aggravated and done with this. Oh, aggravated. Nothing we need. Oh wait, I gotta take that top one out. So we got the motor up another about a half inch, and then I cut about what do you say, a quarter inch or a quarter inch or so off the thread. I don't know where the piece went and then it went boom right down in there and we tightened it up and the mount, motor mount is in now and it sucked and it was a fight but whatever it's done for another million miles 35 degrees yeah it's cold oh shit must have been 50 days and this is the fuel water separator yeah. the old one was leaking like crazy so here we go the other one, my God, it, it destroyed it coming out. It was ice hole. Yeah, it had to use pliers and everything else. So hopefully this will thread right up in there and seal and be good. All right, so what we thought was a fuel water separator is not a fuel water separator. The filter's got a hole in it. It's a well, pin hole. It a fit. Yeah, but we got the motor mount on and a new battery in it, so. All right, we got the motor mount fixed on the ramp truck. Today's Thanksgiving, Casey and Colton got here. Colton's still driving the Blazer, of course. Dad put the rear wheels and tires on the 57. Baffles, fired up, run it, just carburetor. It's, it's doing fine. Converting the Nova back to naturally aspirated with no turbo so I can take it on a toy run. I gotta put other different tires on it, different wheels. Got the turbos off, plugged off the oil line. Finally got it fired up and running. But had everything made for the turbos and then just just ain't got uh, ain't got the time to hook it all up and tune it before next weekend. So putting it back naturally aspirated just to go do that and then we'll proceed forward with the turbo system. We'll tune back in, in a minute. December 7th though, it's next weekend. Yeah. And today's Thursday, Thanksgiving. We got tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Everybody. Yeah. Bad mood. I'm not in a bad day. mood. I'm just. He's in a bad mood. Just nothing ever works the way it's supposed to. It's just us. No. Nothing works. Mm. Well, all this to make the noise. Because you can't have it's toys with no noise. Train it down Walmart for ten dollars. Right, so we got the exhaust off, and this is a six sixty center square that I built with center hung floats and meter and plates and everything else. And so far, this is the best running thing we got on this truck. Go ahead.
up. But like, like with it being cold, you can't just wrap her open. Oh, yeah. But it's just like, rip, rip. I probably went that far open in the butterflies. Oh, yeah. Well, good. That runs now. 57's running. Awesome. Really yeah, see, so yeah, that is a 660, folks. And he's going to run it like that. See, what, there's no pair of Alvinese. There's none of that crap. <laughs> yeah, he totally cracked that one up. Sounds good though. It's crispy to them. They, I don't know of anybody that's ever run a single 660 on anything. I know we're going to run it. It sounds good. You know it run. We did one on Colton's. Sounds Colton's. better than that damn $300 copper I bought. Yeah, it sounds better than a Pro Form. Yeah, but. I did on the S10. Yeah, we did a, a, a 660 with <laughs> 750 base plates on it that I tricked out and made work. And it, ran, it ran killer for what it was. His head's too small. Yeah, head's too small. Compression is too low. It was a lot of nothing. Uh, there's a gauge right there. Yeah. Well, this truck is not make it to be a plain old truck. The no. world may never know. You know how cool it would be to put mud and snows and go out with the exhaust sound like that? In the snow, <laughs> that would be killer. Some chains on it. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know if that 660 will have a, a, a little hiccup because it's one to one. I might just say if that 660 is peppy like that tunnel rim. That tunnel rim, that's a bitch was snappy. I think there sounds like it might be about as snappy as that tunnel rim. No, that one's just lean enough. It's right there on the verge of too small. I wonder why nobody's ever run a 660 thing. Because it's a one to one and there's no there's no fuel miles with a 660. It's yeah, surely somebody's done it. I don't know. Maybe somebody has, They're but that one. Mm-hmm. But most of the time people don't like them because they won't idle. That one idles the, the jet, and then that it's uh, 7474 squared. Sounds like that does, huh? Yeah, it's 7474 squared. I and mean, most people go way too big on the jet. And it's like on the 57, they're 73s. Yeah. Right. Right. But like if it shut it off, fired right up, no pump shot. Right? Yeah, six six is don't eagle like the Yeah. All right, well, we got no drive shaft, no wheels on it, but it runs, so there's something. Get that rear end part going. I got the traction bars in there. We got a traction idea set up. Like and that'll keep it from dying in the inside the cab too. Yeah. Probably <laughs> shit like that though. We know all we gotta do is bolt them up. We can see. Huh? We can bolt them up. We can find out real quick before the battery's unhooked. Well, look at that battery now. All right, check it out. He's just straight piping. Comes up. Comes back. Dumps right up behind the cat. Oh, it looks good like that too. We're gonna see what she sounds like. <laughs> Give you something to polish. Come in there, my damn chamois, my damn wife. Yeah, the chrome is gonna get you home. They go with the wheels. Mm-hmm. I put them up wrong. Well, it's got one. It's got two. Do what? Ten minute exhaust one. That was not ten minutes. That was like five. I've been five. Five minutes. Right, we gotta run on both sides. We'll see what it sounds like. Don't think somebody should come out the same spot right there. Yeah, for On both sides of the truck. Found them in the dirt. Got them for two dollars. Two dollars.
It's loud, but it's, it's got a little guy to it. Little it sounds guy. good. Huh? <laughs> it's got, it's. You can't, there ain't nobody to tolerate that shit. Who's gonna tolerate it? Well, who's gonna tolerate it? My Duramax is louder. Yeah, them damn little bullets gives it a damn cackle. All right, now we're trying something else. Now we're trying the bullet muffler. Oh, you little bastard. Well, it should just slip on then. Back here in the, the tire shop, mounting tires for the 74, putting radials on it, and Colton's old well wheels. I should have filmed how I broke them down. I used the truck, put a block of wood under the back back there, and let the drum come down on it and pop them off a bead. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Alright, well the well wheels don't clear and my center lines with 275 615s don't clear, so nothing clears, so we're gonna go by Swans tomorrow and see if he's got a pair of set of used tires or something. Other than that, this thing is that's a wrap for the toy run on this one. Oh shit, what'd you just mash? Mash your brake. Brakes are poor. Which ones? Second brake line. That old brake line. It goes to the front of the back. On the, on the front of the master cylinder. Okay, so the level of commitment to go to this toy run is unsurpassed. <laughs> we have worked. It rained, soaking wet. See, we are wet and Change the filter on this thing. Got air in the lines. I had to bleed the lines, bleed the lines, bleed the lines. So I had air in it and it keeps wanting to die. So and we keep trying to bleed it and bleed filter. it. Got the fuel filter fixed. Put the fuel filter on it. Hit the brake, brake line leaks. Yeah, so I fix that. Go here, fix the brake line, and get the brake line and all that shit and get them bleeding and it won't run. That's sick. Got I'm cold. Sick. I got the cold, so it's yeah. going to be in damn good shape to come in this week. Because mm -hmm. so. we all going to have it. So damn. Changed the wheels on Bad Penny. We swapped around and tried to find stuff for Justice and over that well, nothing wouldn't work. So I was like, well, hell, I got more wheel space now in the back of the 57 because it's you got a 50 inch uh, 67 over there and under it. So I said, we'll take the wheels off. We was going to put on his off the truck and see if they'll fit the 57 center unilog. So they fit the 57 fine. We took, I cracked it off my 57, which <coughs> was on it when I got it, and put them on his Nova. So we solved two problems. Mm -hmm. So I'll be having center lines on the front. Craggers on the back with little skinny tires, but it, it'll drive, so whatever. We have no users nowhere in the size mm -hmm. we need. Tires on the well, so we ain't done nothing but change tires and roll shit around. Broke them down in the mud back there. Yeah, broke them down in the mud back and forth. Whether we accomplish anything, I'm not sure. Well, the 57, the wheels look better on the 57 than do the truck. The truck is converted back to its original form with yeah, black steelers on the back and well, just need a camper. What we was talking about the damn truck back in the day, it so much had black wheels all the way around it. Had a damn camper on it. I said it's going in reverse. It's going back the way it was. And I built a cow scoop out of a damn swimming pool. One of them blue swimming pools before they started making cow scoops. Or they, when they first come out, I wanted one, so I built me one out of a damn. I had some pool liner, so I made me one out of a damn pool. That plastic turned out pretty damn good. Put it on the truck. I always wanted one, so now it's got a cow scoop. All I'm missing now is a damn camper. Yes, we need to put a camper on. So we're going, we're going backwards. The truck. This is way before farm truck was ever, uh, ever a thing. Dad had, had a camper I, way yeah, back. Yeah, I had a camper on. But that thing had black wheels on it. Looked like Fido's ash. It sounded like a damn pro stalker. <laughs> it was wicked. He had a lawnmower in the back of it a lot of time. Yeah. Here's the wheels. These are the wheels off the truck we put on for the seven. They look good on for the seven. We need to put the ones on the front on it. Not bad, not bad at all. Here's the crackers. I ran these crackers for a long time with 275 6015s on them. Now they're back on there again. 
So now I got to mount the weld, uh, the center line back on, take the tire off the weld, put it back on the center line, put all that back together. And no more turbos, nothing, all that's been took off is put back naturally aspirated. Nope, still air in the system. And they're in the back. All right, so we called it. Uh, I fired the 74 up, and we got the headers bolted on, and made the mufflers for it in the, the tent and with the rain. So. Couldn't put the muffler on because it's pouring rain. Couldn't yeah, it couldn't mount the other tire because of rain. Right, so. Couldn't start the ramp truck again because rain. We didn't blow some heat in the damn building, though. Yeah. It's a shitty day. <laughs> Next Saturday is a toy run, and we ain't ready. 57's ready, but the ramp truck it's sitting on ain't ready. I don't know if it's ready. Hell, it's all just a damn roll of dice. All right, here it is. It's Sunday, and it's the sun's out, but the wind's howling. It ain't exactly hot, but it ain't exactly cold either. Well, I've got the mufflers made for this. Got them on there. Got the tires and wheels on the back. Uh, put different valve covers and stuff on it. It's all back naturally aspirated like it was before until the tour runs over. So. I'm gonna do this and we're gonna go bleed the air out of the ramp truck once again. We just like our circles. Here, I got a, I, I needed to start then. They weren't started yet. I was waiting for Colt to get done with the ratchet. That's feeling a little rougher today. Yeah. Well, I'm sick. He's supposed, supposed to stay at the house, but he don't listen. You won't listen. Keep me out on this shit. Just making a toy run would be all right. Yeah, I know. Just need those moves to line up just one good time. Yep, hopefully it'll be Since nice. The weather will be all right, so we'll see. Starting out in the 30s, probably end up in the 40s by the end of the day. 31 to 58. 50, 58? 54, I think, yeah. That will work out good. And then we'll set the front end on it and... All the little stuff I'll do later. Just trying to get to the toy run. Yeah. Let's take a few kids to toys. Yeah. And make a little noise. The mufflers are on it. They sound pretty good. They're quiet enough. Sounds good. You know what's bad when you're fixing the turbo one and then you fire it up without the turbos and stuff on it and you're like, man, should I really mess with this motor? <laughs> Should, should I really bother? But Coleman's 406 ran pretty good, and it sounded good. And then we right. turboed it. It was way better. Left cover's all clear. All right, cool. Now I guess we'll see if they leak. And then put the front end on. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Ah. Woo! Come on, fuel pressure. Probably got a big gas. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Alright, we got the ramp truck bled. We bled the low side, then the high side. Finally got that figured out. Now they're racing them down the old penny here. Uh, and I got a dead plug on the 74 of them plugs that laid out in the rain, believe it or not, fouled. Only one of them, though. So I'll put some new plugs in it for the toy run. I'm on the hunt for a steel wheel 15 by 7s with uh, 4 and 3 quarter backspace, something like that. If anybody out there got any, let me know. I'll buy them from you. That's what I'm looking for. So I can put some 275 6015s on this drag radial. Oh yeah, and I got a new bench seat for it. Nobody's seen that yet. Dennis hooked me up with that. But I wish I had some tires to fit them wheels. They just won't fit, won't clear. I will be out here sometime this week to we finish up the 74. But all in all, I see this. Don't want to say this yet, but I say we're pretty ready for the tour run. Nope. <laughs> say it very, very light. <laughs> That's what I said. I said I don't really want to say this, but I'm gonna try to say Walk this. Over there and whisper. We're ready for the tour run. Very ready. Now 
we'll, we'll see. I mean, whatever happens, happens. We'll do our best. We dealt with worse. Oh, yeah. It can always be a lot worse. Yeah. But y'all didn't get to, because it was raining all day, y'all didn't really get to see the chaos and everything else that was going on yesterday because of the rain. It's hard to film in the rain with an expensive camera. But so we went into the tent and made my mufflers and stuff, which is super simple. They're just a straight through bullet muffler. <laughs> Wide enough. And then dad had made these turnouts with baffles in them for the 57, which totally suck. But he has to have some kind of muffler. They're loud as shit, though. <laughs> not quiet. So. This is very quiet. 57 is quiet as crap. Quiet as mine. No way. What did you see, though? Well, it's pretty much just back them off the truck and head out. Like a motherfucking movie dog. Well. Dad'll take the ramp truck with a 57 on it, take it over to Westridge and unload it there. And we're bringing the ramp truck too in case one of the drag car folks, yeah, if something, if something happens, we can winch her up on the ramp truck. Or if something happens to somebody else's car, we can winch it up and get them to safety. <laughs> yeah, you never know nothing about nothing. We should have put them front wheels on the 57 off the truck. That's what we should have done. Maybe I'll do that. There we go. S10 ain't going. This one be sitting here. Doing some stuff for it. Colton's ordering him some big turbos and everything else for it. Because them little ones, I don't know if y'all seen or not, but it gets about 4,000, 5,000 RPM. And them little 60 millimeters just can't breathe that big motor. So he's going to get some uh, 80 millimeters twin. What's them turbos, Colton? Are they 78 millimeter or the 80 millimeter? I think they're like 80. Yeah, they're like 80 millimeter, twin 80s. Yeah, GT45s. Yeah, GT45s. So he's getting two of them, and he's having to. He's yeah, he's still making payments on the Duramax from where we had it worked on and stuff like that. And then he had to buy his little trailblazer. So he just ain't got the money to buy everything just yet with the with the new combo. So. Yeah, bigger, S10. bigger turbos. So I was telling them that's why this ain't going to run. Bigger turbos and bigger everything else. So yeah. just wait. Bigger, better. <laughs> It'll actually breathe and make the power it's supposed to. Because with the, with the little turbos, you turned it. We turned it to 14 pounds of boost. Then. Are we we about to no, I'll never go back to 83. But with the small turbos at 14 pounds of boost, it's, it takes it the power down low, but it, the, they, can't, they can't breathe enough, so much back pressure and everything else, they can't breathe enough to have the mile an hour and have the horsepower that it wants. It just ain't got the CFM, they can't breathe. If anybody knows anything about turbos, you know, they just, they can't breathe, they can't make power. So it needs bigger ones for that setup. But also too, after the tour run, we're going to get the 57 back here and do the, the big block swap. We haven't done it yet because we of the hope. toy run. We hope. Yeah. It's been off the swap of our same mile. Yeah, it's, you know it's bad when your motor's built and ready to go in there. <laughs> just... Yeah, that's great. Basically, them high school so Yeah, the Munchkey. 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 Yeah, I was talking to Dad. I think we're going to revert the truck back to the way it was in the beginning. Gold velocity stack, gold Moroso valve covers, steelies all the way around with a camper on the back. You just have to find a little picture of that video and you'll see what that sub bitch where it started. Yeah, I can actually cut it. I can put the video in this. I can get that one off because it's on the YouTube thing on the private. It's there somewhere. It's so yeah. good as that sub bitch the way it was. It, was mm -hmm. it looked like three miles of hell, man. It sounded as good as a motherfucker. Yeah, it was cool. It was a piece of shit. It looked like it was ready to be crushed. He drove it to, sh to Shady Side or Greer? Damn he drove it to Greer when the 790. Yeah, coasted all so steel. Coasted so much off of Greenville Mount, man. We coast that motherfucker. Just let it roll as far as it roll. We pull it gear and go a little ways. Cost me like 54, 50, 58 dollars in gas. <laughs> they wouldn't let us go because it wasn't safe. Yeah, the, he got he got kicked out of track because didn't have roll cage, no safety yeah, stuff. We didn't know we was gonna make it home, man. We just coming up bring them out. I told Dax, I said, "This motherfucker here, we're gonna this is gonna fly apart. We're gonna have to fuck them all up, man." Four fifty six gear. Yeah, we didn't take a tool. Didn't have a damn. I mean, we had a damn a jack and a freaking four way. Didn't have a damn. I believe I had like two screwdrivers and a damn fucking hammer. I think didn't have shit. We just took off like crazy sail. Like let's go to the baker place. Let's go. 
fuck? That was stupid. And from here to Greer is about an hour and 30 minutes. No. Shit, it took forever. Oh, from out here. Yeah. yeah it from, took about yeah, longer than me and you to come back from Shadyside. Mm hmm. That was a long ride in that oh, truck yeah. from Shadyside. Yeah, I got back, I was like, where are they? Yeah. yeah. The Greenville Mountain was dark. It was dark. That truck just, yeah. I was like, God, about it, Yeah, there ain't a light one up there. Mm mm. Some old dirt track tires and shit on it. We didn't have nothing. We didn't have nothing. Still ain't. <laughs> we still ain't got nothing, but oh well. Shit, but I still got the same heart and soul. Yeah. We got more cars now. We just got and more. Stuff to there's a lot more adventure goes on now than then. I thought it was pretty cool then. Mm -hmm. next, next, he took a damn lighter turn. He went for some pain. Took had that damn gastric bypass surgery and it fucked his head up. He got on the pain pills and got to selling the pain pills. And the doctors were loading up the pain pills and then drinking and pain pills. It killed him. Killed him. I said, they'll find him dead. That's them. That's the damn what happened. Mom Dax was awesome, him. too. Mom Creel made him. All his shit is gone. It's like he never existed. Sad as hell. Yeah, his house is still over there. You can ride by and his garage and stuff is still there. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can do about it, though. You try, we try to get his ass out of that shit. Yeah. That's a damn surgery I don't want to see nobody have because it really fucks you up. Them damn pills and shit. That's crazy. That's a, that's a, I'm totally against the drugs and pills and drinking and shit. Fuck that shit, man. And if you can't get through life sober, you're in a world of shit. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you don't need that shit, man. Get a race car. <laughs> yeah, get your damn race car. Don't make you as crazy as a drug. <laughs> All right, one more time for Lost Dirty. Yeah, I was going to. I'll leave the camera on so y'all can see firsthand yeah, I'm gonna go the highs the, and lows of our. Let me go with the. Let me go with the. We didn't do that video. We didn't do, we didn't do a damn challenge. All these hot rods. What, a Christmas tree challenge? No, to get out and do something for the damn toilet and shit. Yeah, December 7th. Everybody, never, ever, everybody. Okay, please, ramp truck. You can get a tree and it'd be combo toy run, tunnel, Christmas tree challenge. Well, all in one video. Damn tree. I don't know. I don't know. Man. Come on. Oh, I didn't hold it long enough. There it goes. Yeah, but it should have first thing. Yeah, but. There's my little bit of air left, but it fired up. Where's it getting air? Where's it getting air from? If I still have a little dab of get it. It's one of them lines we was moving or something. Or that. I guess it all works too. Alright, that's a wrap. Yep.